I am an artist, a fine artist to be precise. So as long as, as I can remember, I've been a fine artist for long now, over five, six years or so, because like I started ever since from primary school, drawing with my friends, and then I became more into it when I was in my high school, that was around 2012, yeah, up to date. Some of the challenges I face, especially when it comes to the part of materials, like you know, sometimes uh, it's good to have certain materials with you to make your work uh, as best as possible and to make it come out, you know, to be so realistic. So, you know, without those materials, sometimes we just have to improvise with the little we have and then try as much as possible to make those things come through. And also, like, um, the support uh, from other people, you know, like seeing your works and then buying it that one also is more challenging because it, you have to like be creative as to what to do so sometimes to think about something and then the critics and all that you know it becomes very hard at times was as young as seven years old when he started drawing but you know in the sun you know he always used to draw in the sun maybe sometimes he can use uh, charcoal you know to draw on the wall you know, and so forth so from that I detected that he had the talent you know as an artistic talent look at the environment alone creation is all about art you see so they have to learn how to appreciate art especially within our region you know people have to learn how to appreciate art because it's something natural from God and, uh, you know art is something that comes you know we look up to God as our greatest artist so people really have to appreciate what artists do because it's not easy like taking your pencil and creating putting someone on paper or on canvas making it so real like that of the camera Well, what inspired me was from a movie called Titanic. You know, when I saw the actor there, Leonardo DiCaprio, how he drew Rose, you know, that motivated me a lot, you know, as to draw humans. You know, that really caught my mind. And ever since then, I've been trying as much as possible, learning as all means, you know, just to be able to draw humans. You know, I have so much fun in there. It's something really nice. I advise parents that they should always observe their children. You know, as closely as possible from time to time. In the first place, you have quality time with them. You know, they should have quality time with them to observe uh, what they are interested in, and even maybe from time to time, ask them about their passion. That is what they really enjoy doing, and whatever you know their choice. I think the parents should encourage them. And, if necessary, give them the necessary support. Well, as you can see, this is a, a model and a female. You know, one thing, if you look at my artworks, you see like I'm so much involved in drawing females because, you know, they are the real backbones of like my artworks. It's because I got this inspiration from my mother ever since like I was trying to be an artist. She has always been supporting me. So that is one reason why I can never like, you know, give up on drawing females. They always inspire my work and make it beautiful as possible. You know, and this lady, uh, you can see like she's truly like indicate that African culture with uh, the 
chain on her neck here and like she's been so natural with the this is more like a Ghana country where my girls live their hair you know things like that you can see that no matter how they are without much the, the beauty still comes up with the beautiful background and things like that so that is one inspiration I got from my from this work as well and I hope that this will come out you know and everyone appreciate it it's going to be a paint anyway yeah I started with the hair and then from the hair like just take out the shape of the whole body you know and then I came up to like drawing the details like the eyes the ears and then the mouth and then go on to shading it shading is one of the process that brings out the drawing you know just like what I did was a raw material but with shading is just like the first step to achieving your goals yeah so with this after this and then I'll go on to painting it which will like really bring out the image of what I desire for it to be I do admire many females, especially those, you know, trying as much as possible to make it to inspire others. Um, as you can see, uh, I don't have one here, but I'm working on one, about one Gambian artist, Sona Jobate. Yeah, she is a Gambian artist. You know, one thing about her, she's one of the ladies I've seen playing the Kora. You know, many ladies will not take up that initiative to do that. But she has done it and I really admire that and her songs, you know, inspire me about the real African culture because from the sound and things like that, you know, it brings out that African rhythm, you know, that keeps me motivated whenever I'm drawing. It puts me in that mode of, yes, you're doing art. My parents, they are always in support of my work. Um, they've never given up in supporting me. Um, look, when it comes to like material-wise, like I remember when I was young, my mom always gave me that support. Sometimes if I, if I was young now and you come to my house, you will have seen all these toys around, like this pencil. You think like I'm even a girl having these pink materials. But yeah, she bought all that for me, you know, just to keep on the artwork. You know to keep doing because she saw the passion in me and she wanted to support me and that's why she was the first person i drew when i started coming into like art more when i started doing more of this shading and things she was one of the first person i drew well what i would say to other young people out there is like uh no matter what you're doing but as long as you have a passion for something never give up on it you keep working on it you know because just as uh as I told both of always say, dream achiever, you keep uh, achieving your dream until you get them. People will appreciate you for that because you love something and you're trying to chase it. You know, that's really inspiring. In the next five years, I see myself owning a studio whereby I will be more particular about fine arts, you know, drawing and painting and as well training young ones even as at now some of them do come but uh with a studio you know they will, i will have more students and then wherever they will come in and then learn from me and that would be great seeing like the you know the students who are aspiring to do like uh, art or who wants to be artists like they have the belief that they can do it and they can make it my dream for him is that in the next five years he will become a real professional you know, and as he said, he will have his own studio and be work by himself and maybe help others who may be interested in the artistic work. I'm on Instagram as adboyzizo1 and on Facebook with Zina Zoka, uh, adboy. And also with my WhatsApp, you can follow me through my number on 37340588. Prices varies. Um, sometimes, like A4 size with a frame, you get them for six, seven hundred, depending on the frame. And also, like you have A3 size for eight, nine hundred, depending on the frame you may you want. And also, when you do like do like bigger drawings, uh, up to like A2 size, which is costing up to one thousand five hundred, one thousand seven hundred. Very reasonable for all. So it's something affordable.